Hi, my name is Doug Goldstein. One of the great things today that people are doing to reduce the amount of paperwork is they are signing electronically. Our company uses the company DocuSign to allow us to get client signatures. Sometimes we do it face-to-face -face where a client just signs on my iPad, and sometimes we send out the documents to clients via email, and this is what you have to do if you get one of these documents. It's very simple, and I'll walk you through it, so next time you do it, it'll be even easier. The first thing is you'll get an email and you click on the button in the middle that says review document. We then put an access code, either we'll tell you a specific code or a lot of times we'll just use the last four digits of your social security number because some of the information that we send is confidential. We want to make sure that it's going to the right person. Once you enter the access code, you're going to click on the button validate and then you're going to have to agree to sign things via electronic signature so I suggest that you click on the electronic records and signature disclosure read through that and once you're happy with it check the the button that says I agree to use electronic records and signatures once you click on that button you'll be able to then click continue and then get started in the upper left side of your screen you're going to see a start button so go ahead and click on that and once you click on that, it's going to bring you to the first sign here flag, a little yellow flag. And when you click on that, you're going to have to develop a, an electronic signature. You'll click on adopt your signature. Probably when you click on the yellow flag, you're going to see your name entered into the system. You'll also see your initials there as well. You get to either try to draw an electronic signature with your mouse, which frankly I find is a little bit tricky or you can accept one of the standard electronic signature fonts which is just fine if you want to go ahead and do that so you can choose one and then choose adopt and after that whenever you click on a yellow sign flag like you see you're going to see your signature appear there just go through the document read everything to make sure you're happy with it and just like you would sign your name on a physical document you can click on the sign flag and when you finish, it's going to give you an, op an option to click on the Finish button at the up right. Go ahead and click on that, and then you're done. You can download or you can print if you like, or else just go ahead and click Continue, and you are all done. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to get in touch with me. My email is doug, D-O-U-G, at profile-financial.com.